Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another very, very chilly evening in the garden. Um, I'm getting so excited. I'm leaving for Dallas to go to Fluid Art Experience in a few days and uh, been really like inspired and I wanted to paint for you guys tonight. So I was thinking about it and I was like, oh, we did that Chaos Pearl Pour HOA, you remember? Oh yeah. And then somebody accidentally dropped a canvas on it um. without even knowing that they did it. So <laughs> I said oh, I would, yeah, I, forgot about I said I would redo that one. So that's kind of what I want to do tonight. I switched up the color palette a little bit, and of course, as I always like to, we're going bigger. This is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas, and I have painted my sides and edges and corners, and I have taped and pinned my back. Okay. So let me show you my colors because they're really, really pretty. I'm very excited about these tonight. The first one we're working with, of course, the one that's farthest in the back, the Amsterdam greenish blue. Beautiful stuff. Not super thick tonight. Thin. We're going to be doing pearl pour. So just kind of tiniest bit of a mound, but then sinking into itself. Okay. Um, my pouring medium tonight, some of these uh, started off as Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol, that one and the Iridescent Greenish Blue, but they all have mix in them. These other ones are all mixed with Mix Pour. You can get your own Mix Pour by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com to get your own mix. Okay, so that's our Greenish Blue. The next one we're using is this one, which is kind of a concoction. <laughs> this was Drips from the last few pours, which was mostly Payne's Gray. And I added a little bit of this DecoArt Obsidian. DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics. That's Obsidian. And now, so this is Payne's Gray with some Obsidian in it. That's so pretty. I really think this is gonna be so striking as our base coat color, hopefully. I don't know, I still haven't decided yet. Not really base coat because we're doing a pearl pour, but it'll be in there. It'll be really, really cool. Anyway, nice contrast with the lighter colors. Okay, then we have Decor Americana Decor Metallics in Emerald Green. And it was a little bright for this that I wanted, so I deepened it up with just a little bit of those Payne's Gray Drips. And now it's just a shade or two darker, more foresty rather than bright emerald but it's still metallic, so it's very cool. I'm excited about that one. Can you see the contrast between the emerald green and the Payne's gray mm. and the greenish blue? And then this one is our Pevio Studios Iridescent Blue Green. This is one that I used in our last pour. In our last pour, Lightning Flashes. So pretty, this one with the jadeite. Actually, let me show you that one dry because it is dry now and we haven't had sun, so. But it's beautiful. Okay, here we go. Actually, I think it goes this way. So this one was lightning flash. No, maybe it does go this way. And I love this. You can see the jadeite in here dry now. You see, and the bronze. Oh, the bronze. Beautiful. But these beautiful cloudy effects. This was our pretzel pour. Um, inspired by my friend Lee Massey from Massey Art Studio. Um, they're also going to be teaching at Fluid Art Experience with me in Dallas. I'm so excited. Please check out our website at fluidartexperience.com. There are still tickets available. So if you haven't been to one of these events before, I highly encourage you to come because they're a lot of fun. It's so nice to be able to meet people who are, you know, excited about the same things you are. It's just a lot of fun. So this was our lightning flashes with the Payne's Gray base coat, which has inspired all of these, this whole like series, the last three or four, have all had Payne's Gray in it, but I love how deep and dark that is, and I love the contrast between the bronze, and I love what the Jadeite did spread out and really shimmery, really, really beautiful. I think I might resin this one, so that's cool. That was lightning flashes. So what we're gonna do is a pearl pour, and we're gonna kind of do it in a chaos sort of style. So we're gonna, Go chaotic with some of the colors on two different corners, and then I'm going to pour my... I didn't show you the rest of the colors yet. <laughs> you got it halfway. Okay. It's a problem with doing this in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, this is Amsterdam bronze. My obsession of the moment. Beautiful stuff. Okay, and then we have this one 
which is Amsterdam pearl green. So let me show you on this one. This is just pearl green and mixed pour and water. I have two cups of this and that one's a little bit thinner. So I have plans, <laughs> but everything's about this consistency except for that one cup of the pearl green. So this is going to be the color that I pour on the top and have the cells popping through the pearl green and we'll see how that looks because I'm very excited to play with that. Okay, now I've shown you all the colors. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So instead of just doing one big huge one, I kind of want to do two and then have two puddles of white kind of almost touching each other. So it should be really, really cool. I'm also okay if there's a little bit of color left on here. It doesn't have to be all covered in the white. So, all right, we're going to start with some of that emerald green. I'm going to kind of do like two triangles. Okay, so we're just going to start pouring this. And I'm being careful to not pour too much because even though it's fun, we have to move this paint around. So you don't want it, you know, a ton of paint on there. Okay, let's put some of that greenish blue in now. green. Okay. And uh, let's put some of that obsidian in right now. This is such a cool color, actually. And this is going to give us some really neat cells. And now we're going to use our bronze. some of this pearl green along here. And then we're going to turn it around and we're going to do the other side. Okay. So I'm going to start with the bluish green. Thinner one. I'm going to pour it here in the center. Okay. I'm going to stay wide for this one, each way. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to tilt this out pretty quickly. And the idea being we thin out that white, we stretch it out really, really thin so all these other colors can come up as cells. Are you ready, husband? Yes, mother. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. We're going to move this around a little bit first to kind of cover the whole canvas. I think we're going to go off that corner and come back. Okay. 
take it down to that corner over there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that cup bronze, what the bronze is doing over there. Mm -hmm. Here come the cells. Okay, so now that our cells have started to come up, I'm not going to move it anymore unless I absolutely have to. I like this. And I like this. I like how they balance each other. Kind of. Let's torch this. coming up that's awesome so this is cool we have the obsidian kind of in the background almost underneath and this is one of the reasons that I wanted to use mixed pores for this beautiful transparency that's happening very, very cool stuff and that is the pearl green so when it dries it should have that beautiful color shifty prismatic Amsterdam pearl thing magic thing happening <laughs> so this was our Chaos Pearl Pour, redone. I'm going to be very careful with it. <laughs> I actually went back and watched our first Peacock uh, Chaos Pour HOA, and uh, that was one, it was so cool, and then I dropped a stick in it. And then the other one got messed up the other way, so hopefully I'm not gonna drop anything in this one. I'm just gonna leave it right here for the next couple of days, and uh, I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Um, I hope you guys are coming to the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas because it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to be there and meet all of you guys. It's just, it's such an amazing experience to be around that much awesome energy and like everybody's so happy. It's just really, really cool. And uh, I've been getting some, some goodies ready to bring to Dallas. HOA, you want to come on up here for a second? Mm -hmm. All of our little, I've been in a yeah. mushroom phase. <laughs> But I'm really excited about showing you guys this stuff. It's been a lot of fun. I've kind of given myself a crash course in resin for the last couple of weeks just because it's been one of those things that's kind of grabbed my head. And uh, HOA has helped me out, and we've actually got a vacuum chamber. So we're pulling the air bubbles out of the resin and having a lot of fun. And I'm pretty pleased with everything, how it's going. So I will be bringing some of this stuff to Dallas with me. I hope you guys are going to be there. Um, yeah, so... We'll be back in just a moment with the dried results. Okay, so here is our Chaos Pearl Pour that is doing some very, very interesting things. First of all, that white that we see is the Amsterdam Pearl Green drying and kind of acting almost like one of those reveal paintings 
where they use the flow trowel or pouring medium then that dries and you see what's underneath so that's kind of trippy I wasn't really expecting that um, it does it does have beautiful cells I love this part I am like crazy obsessed with right here the bronze this is just gorgeous and beautiful pearl cells another unexpected happening is this little teeny tiny micro cracking that's happening maybe because I didn't tilt that part off so there is thicker paint right there I don't know it's kind of strange but this is beautiful like up here this corner is so pretty and you can see where the pearl green is still wet versus where it's dried along the edge it's been very very cold here so and we've had no sun so I'm not surprised it's not completely dry yet also some really interesting cells a little bit of flocculation around them which kind of looks cool but I don't know very different I love these cells they're so pretty and there's one super interesting one here this guy I really like him with that uh, beautiful lighter blue color and then down here some beautiful cells you can see where the pearl green has dried on top pretty round perfect beautiful ones and then again up here where there was more solid left on there some of that micro cracking which I'm not minding and I actually think it looks kind of cool but was not supposed to be there <laughs> So this is our Chaos Pearl Pour Take 2 that there might need to be a Take 3 for because it's not doing what I thought it was. But However, this is really interesting to me because of that pearl green acting like the reveal color where it's drying kind of transparent and it's leaving a lovely, beautiful sheen, that green shift on there. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see when it's completely dry. <laughs> Interesting experiment, though. That was kind of cool. I did enjoy this one, though. I had a lot of fun with it. And again, I think that bronze is just to die for. It's just fabulous. So pretty and striking against those darker colors. That Payne's gray. And uh, we had that foresty emerald color that we mixed. So that's a trip. That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, I will show you this one completely, completely dry when I get back from Fluid Art Experience in Texas, probably about the week of Thanksgiving time. So thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I really appreciate all of you. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. See you soon. Bye-bye.